This tutorial explains the gradient function that can be used to um, co convert a scalar field into a vector field. So if we look at our example of the 2D diffusion equation with a source, we, we get a temperature field in the 2D region, which primarily is um, um, a scalar field and telling us what is the temperature at different points. But if we understand the heat energy, we know that whenever there's a temperature differential, the heat is uh, moving um, and it obeys the, the, the Fourier law of uh, heat conduction. So knowing that the temperature gradient is um, uh, the derivative with respect to x in i direction and derivative with respect to y in the j direction and derivative with respect to z in the k direction. So we get a vector. Um, in MATLAB we can use the gradient function and we give it the three-dimensional array and so if it's a two-dimensional array we'll, give, we'll have a two-dimensional uh, uh, if in case of two-dimensional problem we'll have a two-dimensional array but the output of this gradient would be the derivative in x direction y direction and z direction see these three derivatives can be used to um, compute the energy flow we know that from the Fourier law uh, if you remember from the 1d case that the heat flow in x direction is thermal conductivity times the thermal gradient um, so when we go to the 3d case it's the the flow flux vector of energy is minus k times the gradient of temperature. So in our uh, previous problem, all we have to do is just add this part and we will be able to see uh, the flow lines of energy on this too. So in your, in your uh, code, uh, you need to just make a minor change. First of all, uh, make this mesh as a subplot of um, 2, 1, 1, so you can have the other plot below it. And um, after the pause, uh, or before the pause, let's put some gradient calculation. So first of all, we know that to calculate, we have Tn, which is our temperature field. So to get the gradient, we will use the gradient function. And since it's a 2D matrix, this is a 2D problem, we will get the derivative in x direction and derivative in y direction as the output. Now after this we can apply the Fourier um, law of heat conduction which says that the Qx is minus k times Tx. And since we know that k in our case is a matrix, it's a matrix, we have to uh, do a pointwise multiplication. So we have to put a dot here as well. Similarly we can find the y direction heat um, flow using the derivative in the y direction. So this basically um, is the field. Um, if, if I actually calculate this, I can use the quiver command to plot this on the screen and you'll see that this is the final view of the the arrows. Uh, you can even zoom in to see what those uh, flux. And this is that insulated patch or a small hole that we filled with a very small thermal conductivity material. So in order to create an animation, we will uh, create another plot, subplot 2, comma, 1, comma, 2. And in this plot, uh, we can, th we can show this in several ways but um, I, I personally like to put the image in the background let's put the image x y t n so this will um, put the image on the screen first and as you can see whenever the image is put the y direction is reversed so we have to manually set the y direction set the current axis y direction to normal this is reversed so this will change it to normal um, if you run this you'll see it, it becomes the correct orientation and then on top of this we can throw the arrows so let's uh, use the quiver command 
x comma y comma q x comma q y and in this case we can um, put um, maybe white colored arrows because this is pretty uh, bright color or color already so this will put the uh, I made a mistake you have to put a hold on and then hold off so let's run this whole thing again so it looks like now you can put the arrows um, we can also put the streamlines that we learned previously so let's have a streamline starting from every um, even uh, even point in x and y direction so we can create um, a mesh grid of the points from where we want to start these uh, grid uh, streamlines so mesh grid and so two with the spacing of two all the way to eight then uh, two with the spacing two all the way to eight so basically what we are saying is that um, we want we are excluding the boundary but from starting from two four six eight four so then then the next line and the sixth line and eight line we want streamlines from all of those points and then we can call the streamline function and uh, again we will give it the field the scalar field which is uh, the the vector field which is the qx and qy and then um, that that should plot it uh, we have to tell it where we want to plot it so we want to plot it at sx and sy so let's run this little code and see oh, we have to make sure that hold is on and again the color is blue but not very clear so as one way to change the color of any uh, plot is get its handle h is the handle in this case the gca is the handle um, but in order to precisely change the color we want to get the handle of this particular plot of streamlines and then we can use the set command just like we did before and we can say that set for this handle set the color to be um, in this case we can say maybe um, uh, let's say red red should be pretty bright here and now let's rerun this code and you will see that the color has turned red so and then we hold it hold off and then pause so now we can run this whole code and see um, what it does so you can see at the top we are seeing the profile but at the bottom we are also seeing the arrows and you can see there are arrows here but not here because this is where the action is going on and when um, the source is stopped you can see that the image is in the background but you can also see the arrows and uh, streamlines showing what the energy flux uh, is uh, doing so this is how you can use the gradient command to to convert a scalar field into a vector field